All right, folks, so uh, I stopped by the Dollar General again this morning and uh, still got hot dogs left from yesterday. And I picked up this. Instead of chili today, I'm gonna make some kind of uh, relish with this here sauerkraut. And I have some uh, pickles in there and I have some barbecue sauce in there, so. I'm gonna make me some kind of relish with all of that right now <laughs> all right, so I got my sauerkraut out here and I've got it drained I'm just gonna mince it with this mincing tool until we can get it more like a relish Uh, dill pickle relish here. I'm gonna put that in there. Oh yeah. gonna mix that up in there real good and I got this here I've had this a while got this a while back when I had buy one get one free I've had this in the refrigerator it's a uh, sweet golden mustard barbecue sauce which is South Carolina based barbecue sauce but this is going to add some sweetness to the relish we don't want to overheat this stuff because we don't want to lose the benefits of the sauerkraut what it does for our digestive system so Keep all them good bacteria intact. Well, we want it to taste good. So, uh, oh, yeah, that's good right there. So, I'm gonna warm up my hot dogs, put them on the buns, and uh, put this on top and uh, eat them and call it a day. <laughs> Simple hot dog relish. Um, I got these at the uh, grocery store. I've had these in a while. Something I had to use up. But you can get either sweet or dill. Uh, or you can just get regular pick pickles since you're chopping up the sauerkraut anyway. And just uh, chop them up in there with as well. Which pickles are so low in calorie they count them as zero. Same with the sauerkraut, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna heat these up. I guess I'll just heat these up in the microwave because I heated them up yesterday, so they just need to be basically rewarmed a little. All right, so I'll get about two dollars and seventy-five cents for that can of. sauerkraut and since uh, I already got the uh, barbecue mustard base and you can use any barbecue you want on this now you've seen me heat this type of thing up in a saucepan which would make it better but I, I'm wanting the benefits of this sauerkraut so I'm not heating it up. I'm just flavoring it up. There's a the difference. I 
If you can find that sweet baby ray, sweet golden, it goes a long way to sweeten up that sauerkraut. I'll tell you now. And it's only got 60 calories per two tablespoons, so we had no danger of uh, overdoing on the calories, that's for sure. Probably better off than we were yesterday with the chili, for sure. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. It is 2.19 in the afternoon. This is the first thing I've eaten today. The sweetness of that barbecue sauce. With that sauerkraut and those steel pickles, man. It's like they were made for each other. I know it will be even ten times better if I heated it up. And you could add things to it too, like some jalapenos in there, some onion if you wanted to, but that sauerkraut and them pickles is, is enough, it is enough. That is even if you, if, if you even like sauerkraut at all. Definitely got to save that. Best sauerkraut relish ever. Man, that is absolutely fantastic. Um, oh, that absolutely hit the spot. Absolutely. So even if kitties don't like uh, sauerkraut very much, uh, they might like this with a sweeter taste. They might not. I don't know. If I was a kid, I wouldn't need it one way or another. But, you know, as you grow old, your taste change. Uh, it's really good if you like some kind of relish on your hot dog, especially if you like sauerkraut. This is just a different way to uh, mix it up and eat it. All right, folks, <laughs> that is all I have for this episode, so until the next one, you folks have a good one.